a lot of you guys asked me in an older video where I got this saw and uh, I actually just got it at Cabela's and it was $25 Canadian came with two saw blades two different saw blades super lightweight comes apart obviously fits into the handles very convenient works pretty well and I would highly recommend picking one up if you can find one um, like I said Cabela's Canada 25 bucks and uh, I'll probably end up buying another one because you can't really you know go wrong with something like this for hiking if you want to have fires and you want to process wood um, you know a lot of people will make their own saw like this out of wood um, this is way more convenient and easy to pack so I'm just starting to cut up some firewood because it is getting colder and I would like to have a fire tonight so this is definitely definitely getting the job done Well, I gathered a bunch of wood and I processed a bunch of it to get it started, so I definitely have enough to burn until I go to bed. And uh, I'll probably have lots of leftover wood for tomorrow, which is great. So I'm going to get this thing going. I usually try to wait as long as, as possible before I start my fire. Um, I usually wait till it gets dark, usually. That way I can save wood and uh, don't have to work as hard gathering it. So well, I'm gonna get that thing going right now.
crazy how just a, having a little fire can make you way more comfortable than if you don't have a fire. As far as like, not just heat goes, but just the feeling of, you know, being out in the woods and, and being uncomfortable. You can pretty much get rid of a lot of that by lighting a fire. Sun's starting to go down. Not much daylight left. Still windy. No snow, no rain, which is which is great. I'm hoping it doesn't snow at all the whole time I'm out here, but what I also hope is that something, something weird, comes and decides to check out my camp. That thing being Sasquatch. You know? I I desperately hope to have a Ron Moorhead experience, you know. Something like the Sierra sounds. If if something like that could happen, where I'm just here in camp, minding my own business, and then darkness falls, and then they start trying to communicate. And we've all heard the Sierra sounds, and they're just they're the most bizarre piece of Bigfoot evidence out there, in my opinion. It's like they have a a language, and um, I've talked to Ron before. Um, and he, uh, like, I believe Ron 100%. I don't think he's bullshitting at all. I think those are real recordings of something, some sort of strange phenomena. And they went through all that effort to build that structure that they hide in. Like Ron and his fellow hunters, they built that giant structure out of deadfall and logs and they tied it all together with a cable you know and that was their defense against whatever it was out in the darkness that was yelling at them yelling at them and clacking rocks and they would just hide out in that little shelter and wait for daylight and hope nothing tried to get them or take them away 